guys, happy Wednesday, happy hump day, and welcome to Wednesday's workout. Uh, Roseanne White here with Life Pro to give you our weekly workout. And I am um, today going to be working a lot more on flexibility and balance. So welcome, everybody. We're going to spend about the next 30 minutes with the Horizon Balance Trainer to help you to get more flexible and to work on balance. So um, I'm going to wait a few minutes while everything's populating and, and people are uh, joining in to just explain a few things that are going to happen today. You're going to need some props. So it's always nice. Props are never a crutch. I want you to think of props as assistance for you. And um, I kind of think of sometimes the balance trainer as a prop for some of the things I'm going to be doing. But besides the balance trainer, I'm going to ask you to either uh, grab some yoga blocks. And if you don't have yoga blocks, I used to tell people during COVID to use two toilet paper rolls, just something that you can bring the ground up to you. So I like to ha always have yoga blocks handy. So um, keep them handy. You're going to be using also a either a stretchy strap, stretchy band, a flex band we call this, or a yoga strap. And I've got this one already looped together, but we don't need it looped, you can unloop it. Um, this may or may be something that you'll need, and I'll tell you when and if you'll need them and how to use it, so kind of keep them handy. Also, we'll be doing a little bit of kneeling. So um, I, let me grab my yoga blanket here. So a yoga blanket, but you don't have to have a yoga blanket. You can use a beach towel, you know, blanket or something that just to support your knees a bit. Now, a heads up on this, we are going to be kneeling a bit. Uh, we're going to be st sit, standing uh, somewhat on the balance trainer. Um, we'll be doing different things. So if this is your first time using the balance trainer for some flexibility and balance, don't be afraid. You're only beginner once. I, you can always have a wall handy to, to help you or a post. Um, I often suggest to my clients to have a broom stick handy that you're going to use, not the broom side, but the stick side down, maybe a golf club if you're a golfer, Some, something strong that you can just use for a little bit of stability and balance. Now, keep in mind about balance, and I say this one all the time, balance is something that you are always trying to create, for us to create good balance in mind, body, and spirit, right? We never like arrive, we never get there. Just when you think you have it, you'll lose it, and that's okay, because you're always gonna find it. So we're looking to create good balance. So welcome everybody, I am really grateful that you're all here. Give me a thumbs up that you are, are here, that you have your balance trainer, or that you're maybe considering getting one. And I put a link in, and I will put the link in with my code. Um, my code is my old name, Roseanne Zaft but you can get 10% off on the balance trainer. It's $89.99 on the Life Pro website. And um, it's just a great tool that I use for all my clients. It doesn't matter how old or young you are, what your issues and your tissues are, um, we, we use this. And so I don't want you to be afraid of it. Uh, it's just a great tool. If you like this video and want, uh, or, or this live, and would like some more, always put that in the chat too. Let me know how I can help you out, how I can serve you better. We'll start with a warm up. I will post this workout, if you will. It's, it's a, a workout. Um, I'll post it uh, in the chat after uh, I, I end this live. And this this live will be recorded on the VIP Life Pro page. Uh, we keep it, I think, on the regular VIP, uh, Life Pro page, but it'll definitely be on YouTube. Okay, so that way you'll have in your library. I've created several other videos that are about flexi and balance with different tools. So you might want to consider this, uh, this workout with the, the squishy ball that comes with the BOSU trainer uh, or the balance trainer. Oops, wrong brand. <laughs> um, you may want to consider doing this workout with the waiver or the Rumblex. Um, you know, you can pretty much any of this stuff you can adapt. So let me uh, adjust my screen a little bit and let's see who's on live with us. Um, let me know again where you're tuning in from and let me get my screen up so I can go through my workout. Okay, so what we're going to first do is stand behind the balance trainer 
And we're gonna take a couple deep breaths. Now, Amber talked about this just days ago about the vagus nerve and how breathing and exercise are super important for this nerve. So let's tap into that. Take a big inhale, reach up, relax your shoulders, tuck your chin, exhale, hands slide down your thighs, your knees, your shins, and you find your balance trainer. You're gonna look up and then shift over, get your weight on it, and then shift back. We're just going to do a little shifty, you know, like a little saw work. I'm putting pressure on my finger pads, the finger pads, the tips, I'm trying to get off the heel of the hands, but I'm stretching my fingers out. And I'm just kind of leaning forward and back. Now, you're going to bend your knees a lot, and I'll show you from the side. Knees bent a lot. Tuck your head, and then straighten your legs. Bend. Straighten. I'll do everything in threes with breath. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, you can look up. Exhale, look down. Two more. Breathe in, breathe out. One more. And out. Put a soft bend in your knees, tuck your chin, slide your hands up like they came up, came down, and reach up. Big stretch. So roll your shoulders out. I want you to kind of loosen everything up. And we start with toes. Bring your right foot on, flat on top of the dome. I call the top the dome. And you're going to point and flex. Hands on the hips, you're going to roll. Now, this is just by doing this, we're creating some balance because there's a little instability on the dome, on the balance trainer, and we're shifting our weight from the stable leg on the ground to the squishy <laughs> surface under our toes, under our feet. Do two more and one more. Now, you're gonna keep your foot somewhat rested and go side to side. Just let your little toe side to the big toe side of the foot. We're working into just getting the hip joint a little warmed up in internal, external rotation. I wanna make sure all the joints are kind of happy before we start stretching through the joints through the muscles to that to whatever we're going to call your range lastly toes on so my big toes on i'm going to roll to my little toe to my heel so i'm making these circles and i want my foot to really find every corner big toe second third fourth fifth and rather than looking down with your head down keep your head up and feel that is the language of our work to feel connection with a surface to let the toes be the antennas that help our proprioceptors to send signals from foot to head about what's underneath our feet. Now reverse it. Super important. I have this, this discussion all the time with my clients about balance, about posture, and um, their fear. I mean, we have a, a lot of us have a fear of falling, but it's about getting to the point of letting all your body parts connect, send the signals, and strengthen for stabilization. Let's do the other side. If you have any questions, feel free to throw them in the chat. I'll try to answer them. If not now, later on. I'm going to point I'm on all five toes. There's my weight on there. I'm shifting forward and then back. I'll show you what this looks like from the side. Okay, so hands on my hips. Hips are square. I'm going to come forward and then back. All the weights on my stick, my ground foot, then all the way to my tippy toes. So if you don't have one of our other products that help with stretching your calf muscle, your Achilles, ankles, or if you're looking for some more strengthening work rather than stretching, I, that's what I like the dome for because it's not stable. Again, and you have to use more muscular action. Okay. From here, we're going to go side to side. So big toe side little toe side. My support is on my standing leg, floor leg, but I'm still having some weight here. I'm equally sharing the two, more stability on the standing leg. Side to side, head is over shoulders, shoulders over hips, and now we're going to do the roll. Big toe to little toe to outer heel to inner heel. I'm making these circles around and breathing. Take half the circles and inhale, half is an exhale. And two more, 
and one more. I said threes, but sometimes I do more than three. <laughs> There's no perfect magic number. Just do several reps until you feel that connection that you your body knows what it's doing, it gets it, and once you get it, move on. Okay. I want you to stay mindful. I'm not asking you to do like 15 reps where you worry about more about the reps than the actual work. So I've kind of got my ankles warmed up and that feels pretty good. We're going to go ahead and go nice and wide. Okay. And we're going to slide our hands down our knees and we're going to find the uh, dome. Now, I'm going to literally have my hands, uh, fingers out and I'm going to shift side to side. So I'm working a little bit my shoulders my hips, my knees, and my ankles. And I'm gonna show you what my back looks like here. Okay, my back is flat, but is in the air. So I'm getting some hamstring and inner thigh stretching. Take an inhale, exhale, transition. <sighs> inhale and exhale, transition. You could linger longer at one side, that feels good for you. Keep pushing your tailbone back, the crown of the head forward, abdominals are pulled in. Great, and then let's drop the butt down and lift up straight legs. My shoulders are over my wrists. Here's where the breath goes. Inhale, exhale. Push into your big toe, your inner heel, your little toe, and your outer heel, all four corners of your feet. Heel toe in. Drop your head, hands on your thighs, roll up, and stack up your spine. Great. So that just gives us a little bit of foundation of moving through our ankles, our feet, our toes, our, our fingers, and our um, wrists. Now, what I want to do is go in, into a little bit more of a, a stretch. My camera needs to focus. Do you see that blurry? This is just my, my camera it has to fi find me and focus. So I'm going to scoot this dome a little bit more away from me. And I'm going to stand a little bit further away. I'm going to roll down just like I did before. I'm going to kind of walk my hands forward and find my dome. Butts in the air. If you're a yoga person, you understand this is downward facing dog. Index fingers pointing forward. Hands are wide on the sides of the dome. Head drops. And you're going to lift the tail to the sky and bend the knees. Lift. Let the head drop. Your ears are in line with your arms. And then drop. Pull the belly in at the same time. Big breath in. Press into the toes. You can lift your heels. Bend your knees. Flatten your feet. Lift your heels. You're on your tippy toes. And now, this time, keep your heels lifted. Push your butt back and bend one knee. Then bend the other knee. Let's do that two more times. Big toe. And one more. Great. Now. Both knees are bent. You're going to heel toe wide. I'm going to take one hand. I'm going to look under my armpit and find my ankle. I'm going to take my palm behind my ankle and I'll stretch that leg. My right knee is bent. My left leg straight. I'm just going to take that side twist. Make sure you're taking your breath with this. One more. Take the hand back. You can bring your head up for a moment because I want to make sure that you don't get too dizzy here. Shift your hips back. Left hand goes behind the right ankle. I'm going to look behind. I'm going to bend my right knee. Bend the left. Bend the right. Bend the left. And get that nice big stretch on the other side. Two more. And one more. Hand goes back. Heel toe it. I'm going to walk forward. Slowly lift your head up. Hands on the shin and roll yourself up. Now take your time. If you're someone like me that has low blood pressure, you want to take some time to get the blood all the way back down. So we're going to come from here into um, a kneeling lunge and a split stance. Again, if you're feeling a little unstable, keep the wall handy and keep your blocks handy. So I'm going to put the blocks in front. And I'm going to put my... Uh, right foot forward. So I'm going to find my wall. I'm going to kneel on here. So my foot is going to, my toes are going to be on the, on the ground. There are a little kickstand for me and my fingertips are resting against the wall. Now this is just a safety precaution in the beginning. 
my goal for you is not to hold on at all, okay? You're gonna feel the hip tuck, you get a nice big stretch here. If this becomes too much, come out of it. Always come out of it. But I'm gonna maintain this 90-90 as best as we can, front knee and back knee, while we open up our, uh, our, our chest more. So arms are gonna come reaching up and reach down. Now, if you wanna add a little balance to this, you lift up and come down. Rest your shin on the dome, inhale up, exhale down. We'll do one more, and down. Now your arms cross forward and back. So you can see I'm shifting forward a little bit and back. You can open things up, cross over and back. I'm gonna almost make a goal post. What I mean by that, I'm gonna goal post my arms. Cross over and back. Finally, I'll side bend to one side. And I'll show you the front view of this on the other leg and side bend to the other side. Arm up. I'm finding a gaze forward so that that helps balance in the beginning. But over time, I want you to look at different places. Look to the left, look to the right, and kind of mix your brain up a little bit more. One more time. And then you're going to slowly bring your hands to the blocks. And then you'll lift off of the shin off and straighten the front knee, that was the right knee, and then bend it. Shift and tap the knee down. One more time. Shift and tap the knee down. Come up nice and slow. Use the wall as you, if you need to to come back up. Now I've got my legs wide. I'm just going to just take a little bend here. And drop one shoulder, look over the other. Come back and drop the other shoulder. One more. Just get a little rotation here. Moving the spine in all different directions. And back. Now I'm going to show you that same series sequence on uh, from the front view so you understand where I'm coming from. I won't use a wall on this. I'm going to step forward so that my knee is on the center of the dome, my toes are resting on the floor. Over time, by the way, when you feel really good with this over time, you can lift up. Now here's more balance. This glute is gonna fire up and there's a little more instability. You do all your arm work like that. So that's when you're feeling more comfortable. You, know, you can always put the toe down, but in the beginning, or, um, as you get stronger, toe up, and then you start moving your body, okay? So I want you to know there's options, always options. Or like I said before, you could have a, a, um, a post, uh, a broom or something to plug into the floor. Now, if you look at my hip, knee, right under the hip joint, and this foot's gonna be a little bit wider. I'm, I'm widening my, my, my stance a bit, like railroad tracks. You can see this leg is out a little wider. It's gonna help with my balance. Now, we're gonna go ahead and add, add arms up, get a stretch, lean forward, and back. Bring the pelvis forward and back. And you can always lift up and down. Sweep arms up and down. We're gonna cross over, reach forward, reach back, crisscross forward. Now you can always add that lift. Again, just challenging. Give yourself a, a little, a little on the edge here, right? And back up. Excellent, okay? Resting on the dome. We're gonna go ahead and side bend my head. I don't want it to drop forward. I keep the eyes looking forward. And back and side bend on that side. Nice big stretch all the way down. Take a breath in and side bend. Pushing into the left foot, the foot in front of the dome. One more time. Breath in and breath out. Great. Careful as you come up. Actually, we'll get our blocks. I want to make sure we do the standing. It's, it's called the half splits or, or pyramid. Some people call it pyramid. Blocks are going to be in front. I'll show you from the side. Okay, blocks in front. I'm going to go ahead and straighten my legs. So both legs are straight. The front, back heel is lifted, but eventually I'd love to put it down. I'm going to bend my knee and then back up. Getting my hamstrings to start working. Lengthening. One more. And then you can step forward and roll yourself up. So now that I've done the kneeling lunge split stance, 
away from my camera to focus. The next one I'm going to be doing is a kneeling lunge with my legs to the side. This is going to be really great for your hips. So I'll show you from the front first. Right leg will be off to the side. So I'm going to kneel again. The blocks can be handy for this one. Let me scoop back so I don't get cut out of the frame here. I want you to make sure you see this. Blocks are super important here. Okay. So I'm kneeling. Remember, that toe doesn't have to be on the ground, but for this one you might. I'm going to slide my leg out. My, my foot is slightly in front of my hip. And you, you might notice you're really tight on that hip, and you're going to try to drop your hip down. So put your hands on your hip and make sure that's true. I'm going to hinge forward, find my blocks, get a stretch, and then I'm going to come back up. Now, if you feel pretty good about the hinge and you don't have too much of a problem hinging forward like this, the next time you come down, butt goes back and your hands come to the ground. You're really pushing back into the tailbone. You can use the blocks to come up and use your glutes and abs. So core is super important for balance and for movement. And I'm talking about abdominals and glutes and upper abs, lower abs, and shoulders stable. Hinge it forward and bring it back up. Now once I've done that front flexion, I'm going to add on to this with a side bend. I'm in that nice uh, 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 optimal alignment. Hips are square. We're going to go ahead and side bend, light finger touch on the leg that's on the side. And then I'm going to come back. I'm going to plug it and reach straight up. And maybe all the way at an angle. Arms out, relax the shoulders. Take an inhale. And then exhale. Pull your belly in. Always check hand behind the head to make sure the head doesn't push forward. Chin pulls in and bring it up. I call this pinwheeling or windmilling the arms. Reach up and then you can put that hand behind just to double check. One more time, inhale. All the way and exhale. And last time, take a breath in. Shoulders relaxed and stretch. The exhale invokes the relaxation response, which means the stretch response. Okay, let's come up from here and the other side. I'm gonna give you an option after I repeat this side or repeat the, that set on this side because some of you may not want to actually kneel on this one and, and that's fine. I've got a great option for many of you that are comfortable with kneeling so much, but Again, this is a pretty soft surface, so I'm not putting pressure right until it's my shin on the, on the top. Square the hips. Now, this is my hip hiker leg. It loves to hike, so I have to really push the hips down to lengthen. And then I'm going to push the cre hip crease back, find the blocks, kind of hang out there for a second. I've got my foot turned in. That helps a lot on this. If it's out like that, there's going to be a whole different stretch and not the one I'm looking for today. Okay, push your butt back and then come on up. Use your glutes, squeeze that cheek, check in with your hips that you didn't hike. See that? It happens. If you don't feel or if you don't have a mirror in front of you, you'll, you'll still create that imbalance. And the whole idea of stretching is to balance things out. Take a breath, nice and tall. Hip creases go back, tailbone goes back, find the blocks, or maybe you're ready to find the floor. Push back and then come on up. You might add the arms. Here, inhale, and then exhale. And this one, I'm only doing three. Come back up, and now we'll side bend. We'll reach over. Breathe. Breathe out. Reach high to the sky. Push down on the shin. Inhale. Exhale. Nice long line. Fingertip to foot. Arms out. I can see my thumbs in my peripheral vision and stretch up, pull the belly in, anchor that hip down. One more time. You're going to feel a whole difference from one side to another for various reasons. No need to attach any story to them. Just know that they are a little different. And back. Now, let's come up carefully. I'm going to show you an option for those of you that are ready to kneel down. Okay. And this is actually, I'm going to do both of these. This is a yoga pose. And you know, the thing about all the stuff, all the stretches we're doing, they're kind of based on yoga. So when people say I don't do yoga, I'm like, well, you kind of do, you just don't know it. <laughs> okay. 
Okay, so I'm standing just in line with the Life Pro logo. I'm going to put my foot on the logo. I'm going to pop back a little bit. I want to try to get my hips as square as possible. This knee will try to want to turn in. So you're going to put your hand on your shin to pull that knee back. Take a look. Knee, ankle, second toe. Now the standing leg, turn this heel out just a little bit. That's going to help you. Okay. Now in this bent knee position, straight leg, we're going to hinge. You can use a yoga block here to help you. Same thing. It's a different, it's same but different. I'm still working my hip, I'm stretching my hips. But now I've got a lot more going on in my inner thighs as well. Either way, on the knee or on the foot, this is a great way to stretch out your hips, opening up the hip, find the block, and then come on up. Let's do that one more time. And there's balance here because I've, put, I've got the instability of one side. So I'm going to push my knee back, push my hip back. You don't have to find a block. There's your strength and balance right there. And then come back up. Now we'll add on to this with arms out, warrior two. Look at your front fingers and then do an exalted warrior for me from here. Hand on the inside of the knee and we'll do a side angle. How about that? You're doing some yoga. Inhale, stretch. Exhale, cartwheel your hands down. And inhale at the very end range. Exhale, bring it back. Inhale. And then exhale. Inhale. And exhale. And come on back. Isn't that cool? Let's switch other sides. So I first plant my foot. My heels are basically lined up, and I'm going to turn my uh, floor leg out, and I want to make sure this dome leg, the knee doesn't bow in. It happens to all of us, so keep yourself honest. Check hands on the hips that you're nice and square. I want to make sure uh, I've got my shirt in the line of my hips so I can you can see that. I don't want to see that tilt, okay? That happens a lot. I'm going to plug that hip in, okay? And then we're going to go ahead and push this knee back, send the hip back, and hinge, tailbone back, and come up. I want to show you what that looks like from the side, if you're not sure. Okay, I've got the alignment. I'm hinging, butt back, hand forward. So I'm, I don't want to shift back. I want to kind of um, keep the tailbone lifted here and back up. Make sense? And now we'll add the arm movements to this. So get in your position, take a bend, stretch the front arm up, inhale, then exhale, cartwheel down. You can look at the floor, you can look out, you can reach up and get that little bit of pressure into the top of the dome. And then open up, breathe in, cartwheel down, and Stretch side body. One more. Inhale. Lengthen. And then exhale. Over. And then come on back up. So you should feel some good movement in your hips by now. What we're going to do now is um, sit on the dome. Okay. You can have your stretch straps handy, the yoga strap. And if you're not, if you don't have a yoga strap, a robe from um, a belt is fine. I mean, wait, let me say that again. The belt from a robe is fine. That's what I meant to say. Everyone's got a robe and they've got a belt. Um, a belt from pants to something that's long, okay? Or the stretch strap. Okay, neither one's fine. We're going to start with our legs straight. So I, you see how I just used this to kind of get me propped up? I want to be right on top of that dome. Legs are straight, feet are flexed. By doing this, my heels are lower than my hips, and I can stay pretty upright here, and I allow the back of the knees to open. Now, if you get your stretch strap or yoga strap on the back, on the, around the arches and pull, we're plugging our thigh bones into the sockets and we're plugging the shoulders down into our back. 
because your legs are together, your feet are together. I don't know if you can see me when I do this, but you could see I'm kind of wobbling. Watch my wrinkles in my shirt. I'm not, I'm not trying to wobble. It just happens because my body, my pelvis is trying to find the center, a flat spot, but there's no flat spot on top. So I have these intrinsic muscles in the pelvic floor, which you ever talked about. I have obliques firing up. I have back muscles. There's a whole bunch of back muscles, PLs, paraspinals, multipedis. So this is an amazing way to strengthen your core while you're lengthening your hamstrings. I've got my toes pulled back. So I'm pushing my heels through and I'm, I've got my stability in my shoulders. So we're gonna just hang out here for a few more breaths. Think about pressing the thigh bones together and pushing them down to the floor, lifting, lifting your chest up and pulling your chin in your one nice long line. And then relax, okay? Now we'll go ahead and we'll bend the knees and I'll show you from the side. Um, I'm gonna have you, nope, we don't need the block right now. We're gonna sit on the top of the dome. You can feel the sitting bones are a little wobbly. You're gonna hold on to your knees or shins. Tuck your chin and pull your belly back. Separate between your shoulder blades. You should feel that. And you can look a little to the left and to the right. And then you're going to bring yourself up. Open your knees and find the bottom of the feet together. Lift the chest. I'm pushing my hip bones in front of my uh, hip creases. Then my hip bones, hip bones, say that three times fast, go behind my hip creases and I tuck the belly in, the tailbone curls up, and I drop the head. This is your cat cow seated on the dome. Lift up, I'm pushing the tailbone back, I'm kind of sliding off, so I wanna push the butt back. Let me show you more of a side view here. I'm gonna round my spine, see all the wrinkles in my shirt, and I don't wanna be in my neck. I'm separating between the shoulder blades. Exhale, all your air out. And then inhale up, pull the chin in, and let the collarbones lift up, stretch all the front belly muscles and contract the back muscles. And again, you're wobbling, right? You're like it's not, it's not easy to sit on this still. It's okay. Last time, exhale. You can always turn your head left and right. Oh yeah, I'm, I'm moving and grooving here. <laughs> and then come back. If you've been diagnosed with some pelvic instability, SI joint instability, this is a nice way to connect and find more stability in, in that joint, okay? It's safe, it's not impactful. Now, I've done straight legs, and I've done bent knees to a, a diamond shape, and now I'm gonna do a wide leg fold. Here's where I will use my yoga blocks again. I'm on top of the logo, and my heels are wide. I wanna make sure that you can see that my feet are pulled up. Let me bring my camera down. What the heck, I can do this because you need to see more of the floor, okay? Okay, so toes are up, blocks are here, and then I'm gonna push down to lift up, grow tall out of here, and open everything up. Now. Turn your thighs in and out, a little internal external rotation into the hips. You're gonna walk your blocks forward one at a time till you find where you get a nice stretch in your lower back and then walk it back. More of a two for one special because inner thighs, actually three for one, hamstrings and lower back are stretchy. Stand tall, not, or sit tall. Now, I, I'll let you know right now, some people, Hinging for this much is enough stretch. That might be you, that's awesome, because eventually you'll get more, okay? But over time, you'll get, be able to come out, pressing down, not dropping. I don't want you to cash, I don't want you to round the back here, okay? This is, I don't want to dump in here, I want to keep that back nice and long. And then walk back. Let's do one more. I like the blocks, because it keeps me, my, my weight of my torso supported. Pull those toes in. Now, if you have the flexibility, and some of you guys do, take advantage of it and crawl out even more. 
Slide up an inch, down an inch. With the blocks, even. Half an inch up and down. You can bend your elbows. Last one. And then walk it back up. Shake out your legs. All right. We'll do, uh, how, how are we doing for time here? We're pretty good. We, I'm going to just do a few more things. So um, we're going to come to our the front of the dome, and we're going to do some back extension. Okay? And I'll make this rather quick because I know that I, I only told you 30 minutes, so I don't like to make it the same longer than I need to because you guys have things to do. I want to make sure you have enough time for this. Hands behind your head. Let your head drop back. If you find, oh, my head's not dropping back, scoop down more so you feel the support. I'm just looking for a back extension, okay? Then you're going to lift your head and flex. Yeah, there's some abdominals in here. It's a cat-cow in a different way. Spine flexion, spine extension. As you get more mobile in your spine, you can scoot up. As you get more open in your chest, you can scoot up. Now, where do those straps come in on this? You can use the flex man or the yoga strap. Legs are straight. You're going to reach back and open your arms. Arms up, head up, and flex forward. Let's see if the yoga block works here. Yeah, if you need some support, if you need the yoga block to bring your on your head, if that, if that helps you, if your head's just not coming down, Put the yoga block there. I want you not to feel like you're straining your neck. And you can just come up here, hold the hands back and forward. You don't have to flex up. I just want you to know you have options. Stretch back and forward. That's one option for those of you that can't get their head all the way down or feel uncomfortable with the neck extension. Those of you that feel more comfortable, you take it back, lift up and flex. Tuck the chin, head goes back. I'm gonna move my block because my head goes all the way back. Head up and lift. Got it? One more time. Big breath in. Stretch those arms apart. And then all the way up. Bend your knees. You can use this band to help you come up. And then we'll do a side bend, a mermaid, and you guys are out of here. I'm out of here too. Sit on your dome one last time. I'm going to side straddle. So my legs are going over to the left, my right, right butt cheek. Just the right butt cheek is on the dome. We've, we've warmed up our hips, so this should be feel pretty doable and we should feel pretty square here, okay? Your feet will help you flex your foot. Do not splay. This is splaying. It's gonna be a lot of stress on your knee. Keep your foot flexed. Even if that means that knee comes up, that's fine. I want you to protect the knee in this side bend. Arms come up. You're going to have fingertips on the floor or your block. You're going to walk out, bend this elbow, and side bend. Come back down. You might find that other yoga block. And reach out and bend the elbow. I'm always bending. I don't want to shrug into my shoulders. Side bend. I'll add one more thing to this next side bend. We have side bend with rotation. I'm going to Touch my hand, come back, one. Touch my hand, rotate, two. And three. Switch cheeks. So I'm gonna rotate, knees pointing left, left butt cheek on the dome. Feet are flexed, my blocks are in place for me. I'm gonna take that side bend to the left, bending the elbow, stretching the right side. Come back up, find your blocks, bend the elbow, side bend. Take it over. When's the right time to inhale and exhale? Whenever you need to, right? Sometimes in our yoga practice, we're specific to inhale to open up, exhale to lengthen. That's usually the case, but don't get too caught up in, oh, I'm not breathing right. Just breathe. Adding on to this, take a big breath in, and I'm just cueing that. Exhale, rotate. <sighs> Inhale, open. Exhale, rotate. <sighs> and open. And 
all the way up. Find a comfortable seat, cross-legged, diamond shape, straddle, whatever works for you. Hands can rest on your thighs. Let's just roll your shoulders out. Now, yeah, see, I'm still waving. I'm still kind of rocking side to side. It's okay, do that. Maybe do some belly rolls to get those abdominals to tone up, to get the back muscles to tone up and release like little hula hoops. Then pull your chin and look over to your left shoulder. Come back to center, look up to your right shoulder. Chin to chest, exhale all your air. Eyes gazing forward, take a big breath in. Relax your shoulders, but push all the air out for this final breath out. So there you have it. Today's live based on the flexibility and balance on your eyes and balance trainer. I hope it was helpful for you. I hope you uh, feel you have got a little more mobility when you stand up. Notice your hips, back of the legs, shoulders, back, neck, wrists. Just notice if there's, you know, even if there's a little 10% difference, that's huge. And you just keep building on this. Remember, balance is something we practice, like our breathing practice, like our exercise practice, our nutrition practice. Everything we're doing is a practice to become stronger, more fit, more flexible. Uh, you know, my mantra, live fit and age well. This is how you're going to do it with it. Very flexible in your joints and your muscles. So I want to thank you so much for joining me today. I hope it was helpful. If you have any questions, any concerns, hit me up. Uh, whether you want to direct message me or uh, on Facebook or Instagram, you can also text me or uh, or actually say e ugh, email me at info, I-N-F-O, at livefit, L-I-V-F-I-T-T dot com. Thank you so much. Have a blessed rest of your day, and I'll see you next week. Bye for now.